Never before has such a small change made such a big difference. I'm here in the brand new Bentley GT V8 and the six liter W12 engine has been ditched in favor of a smaller four liter twin turbo V8. Now that makes three big differences. Number one, it's 10 grand cheaper. Number two, it's lighter and so should be better to drive. And number three, it uses 40% less fuel. Let's talk about this engine then. Well, it's got 500 horsepower and that's 75 horsepower less than the standard W12 coupe, but it'll still hit almost 190 miles an hour flat out. And I think you'll agree that's plenty quick enough. And then there's the sound. Bentley have engineered a proper V8 growl into this car and it sounds miles better than the muted W12 model makes a real difference and gives this car a much sportier character. There's also a new 8-speed automatic gearbox which is not only more efficient, accounts for about 6% of that 40% efficiency gain, but it's also quicker through the gears. To prove just how much more sporty this car is than the standard W12 model, I'm going to get to do something not a lot of people do and that's to drive a Bentley on track and here we go if you turn into the corner the steering immediately just feels a little crisper and a little clearer and that's all to do with this weighing less than the bigger car the brakes well if we apply them now they're fine they've, I've only done a couple of laps so far but I reckon a couple more laps and they'd start to fade what you really want is the carbon brakes they're an option but they will set you back ten thousand pounds and what really defines this car's character is the four-wheel drive. If you turn it in, it just grips. It's not a hooligan. It's not the type of car that you can fling around and get the tail out. It's a kind of car that you point in the right direction, floor the throttle, and there's just endless grip. I actually drove the Audi S8 on this very same track. And of course, that's the car that shares the very same V8 engine as this car. And I have to say, while the Audi felt big and unwieldy and sort of dived under braking and rolled in the corners, this Bentley feels a lot more together. Who would have thought it? A sporty brand like Audi is outgunned by a luxurious British brand like Bentley. So, yes, the Bentley Continental still has a little bit of an image problem as the footballer's favourite. But if it is your thing, this V8 model is definitely a case of less is more. It's better in every measurable way than the W12 model. And I have to say, it begs the question, why they're still selling the W12 at all. <laughs>